Okay, um, so this is the last one of these problems we'll do. Uh, so, um, which one of these has the stronger ionic bond? Hopefully already you've figured it out that it would be this one. Uh, why is that? Because we've got a 2 plus here and a 2 minus. And here we've got just a plus and a 2 minus. Okay? So in fact, there's, if you want to look at it, it's like that. But anyways, uh, so when we're talking about size and charge relative to um, uh, strength of ionic bond, we have to recall that uh, both play a part, right? And in this case, um, uh, we find that the overall charge here is more than there. So um, the charge difference of the minus 2 to plus 1 sets you, again, somewhere in uh, this range. Okay? So um, we're comparing, in this case, so the last case we were comparing this, I believe this one, to this one, and this time we're actually comparing this one to this one. So this would be where calcium sulfide is, and this is where potassium sulfide is. So if we were to ask you which one has the stronger ionic bond, it would be calcium sulfide. And um, uh, if you look at the melting points of these two compounds, this one's 2400 degrees Celsius, and this one's um, 840 degrees Celsius. So, again, this is a nice qualitative way of deciding uh, which one has the stronger ionic bond.